Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you very much for subscribing. Um, so, I finished up the little Johnson and uh, I've got to change a motor mount. A lower motor mount on a Johnny Rude. A true Johnny Rude. Um, I've been working on this engine for off and on. It comes in here um, seven, eight years at least. Um, the fella that owns it pretty hard on it. Um, but I actually, if I remember right, kind of built the engine um, for him. And uh, he runs it pretty hard. So we'll do that lower motor mount, then I uh, probably should get that other little Yamaha 8 see what's going on with it and uh, who knows what else um, but I do want to uh, do a couple things here I want to say uh, you know uh, you're in in my thoughts and prayers all those folks down on the West Coast California and, and maybe even lower Oregon and heck probably far up is Washington State just getting you know all of the forest fires down there and everything they're just getting hammered and so thoughts and prayers with you folks please be safe I know a lot of people down there have lost their homes and and their pets and everything it's just a mess down there so yeah I uh, want to send a shout out to you guys be careful be safe and, uh, so yeah that's that's a horrible thing what's going on down there so and then I want to say a big congratulations to all those that did the name that tune Breakfast in America by Super Tramp. Um, I've always loved those British lyrics like that. Could we have kippers for breakfast, mummy dear, mummy dear? So, congratulations. We'll throw another one out there for you. I'll give you another one. Sure will. All right, so let's look at this here. True Johnny Rude. I show you. I show you. Right there. The old lower motor mount. Um, and that's all I got to do to that one. So that'll be a quick thing right there. So we'll get on that one first. I'll be back. Okay, we're doing some motor mounts. Now, what you got here, in the truest sense of the word, really. See that hood says Johnson, but that transom clamp is off an Evan Rood. That lower unit is off an Evan Rood. So that makes this 30 a true Johnny Rood. It's a Johnny Rood. I think this motor mount down here. Well, heck, the bolt's about to fall out of that one. Let's see. Put the Thor. That's Thor. Put the Thor on. Put the Thor to him. Cause Thor don't play. Ah, yeah, it's busted. One whole side of that motor mount's busted. I show you. I show you. See that? See it's missing the it's missing the thingy there. The little ear tab. So we have to replace that. That mount for show. Everything else is in pretty good shape with it. Wait a minute now. What the heck's that doing in there? That ain't even the right size. That's the right size. See that little short one? You just back them out. You don't even have to take those all the way out. I don't know what he's got, what he's got going there, but that... This motor belongs to a commercial fisherman slant bar trapper. 
he in the summer months does uh commercial salmon fishing and tendering and stuff like that and then he has a cabin that's remote and he spends the winter over there trapping uh it's uh, it's not on kodiak itself it's on a island north of here called a fognac and he has a cabin over there and he traps all winter and fishes all summer and this is his get him to the beach motor and he's got a big skiff as well with a big cabin and it's got like 150 horsepower on it he keeps that on a running line over there i guess and uses this to ferry back and forth and, and trap and stuff so he's pretty he's pretty hard on it but now those top motor mounts they're not bad they're not bad at all so i'm just only one i'll check that middle one it's good too it looks like it's good so i think this is the only one i'm gonna have to replace let me go get a let me get a spanner i'm gonna go get a spanner all right so i went in my parts bin got me a new motor mount and uh then i got a spanner and this one was coming out no problem this bolt here the other one i had to go get the torch and put a little heat to it you don't want to break that off and what i have done before on these and i've seen a lot of them come in with like that is somebody will try and change this and it'll actually crack this aluminum here or, or break it completely off and then of course the the bolt could break out too so go easy if you have to soak it with a little penetrating oil um, whatever it takes but try real hard not to break that that bolt off because this piece right in here is not real strong and after years of being used in salt water well you know what that's all about all right name that tune I got some lyrics name that tune okay you ready beads and roman sandals beads b-e-a-d-s beads and roman sandals name that tune see there's that little broken ear Just snug is all you need. Okay. Then we gotta put these clamshells back on. So, oh, I gotta go get that bolt too. Okay, put this over here out the way. And then get this one on and flip it back over. help if I put the right side. Yeah, that, that makes it a little easier. And we go back in with these long ones, the longer bolts. Oh, 
no more broken motor mine in there. cylinder air-cooled diesel with a dead battery I was just heating it up cuz I got to do an oil change on it I uh, been putting it off for too long but there's a little nip in the oil today and I thought I better get on it Here's what I'm going to put in there. Long engine life formula. Heavy duty 
die cell engine oil mobile delve now that's what's going in there as it says right here highly formulated Checker again. Well, she's showing a little bit now. She's almost up to the first line. Uh, actually, she's there. Let's do it again. I wanted to actually a little past that first line, but that's about right. That's been needing to get done for a while. I almost forgot to put it in. Of course it gets a little bit. You know, just a splash. I got my little power pack hooked up to it. That's how I generally start it. Use dirty oil. Slip, slide in away. They're gonna dock me. So, I don't really even know what's wrong with this little guy. It's an eight. It's an eight. Look at them spark plugs, will you? Look at the rust on that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I don't know what we're going to find on this little guy. You know, I think I'm just going to dip it in the tank and see what happens first. That way we can... That 
way we can kind of see what we got going on with it. See if it'll even start or, or what. And I got put me a Yamaha plug on. Got her all pumped up. Let's choke it. Neutral there. Custom. Custom. Don't tell me. This thing's not working, I don't think. That's where the tape comes in. <laughs> in a little bit. Okay, got the choke pulled out, bulb squeezed up. Let's see what we get. Stay tuned, more vids are coming on Inside Out Woods with Cody Bass.